in this video we will be looking at Monistat for Helos. Stay tuned to find out more. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. If you are new here, make sure to hit subscribe and any of the links that we mention within the video can be found in the description below. And if you are personally worried about your hair loss, make sure to click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz, where you'll answer a few short, simple questions about yourself and your hair loss, and then you'll receive free, personalised expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. Today, I'm going to be discussing a hair treatment from an unfamiliar source, Monistat. Monistat is a treatment that has been used for several years to actually treat yeast infection. However, recently there have been reports of Monistat being able to stimulate hair growth. In this video, we're going to look at exactly that. We're going to look at what the product is, we're going to review the science, and we're also going to show you how to use it. First, what is Monistat? Well, Monistat is a brand name for the chemical Myconazole. Monistat is the number one over-the-counter brand that tackles these kinds of infections. In addition to treating yeast infections, the product is also used to treat ringworm and athlete's foot. It works. So guys, what's the science behind Monistat? Well, Monistat contains an active ingredient called mycoconazole, which is an antifungal agent. Mycoconazole's chemical structure is similar to ketoconazole, another chemical that has been proven to block dihydrotestosterone, the hormone responsible for female and male pattern hair loss. Now, a study in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science attempted to show the effects of various shampoos on hair shedding in men. This study showed that ketoconazole decreased hair shedding by 17.3% and even increased the thickness of the hair. Due to myconazole being similar in identity to ketoconazole, it too could display similar properties to those shown in the previous study. However, the effects of the myconazole on hair haven't been clinically proven. Therefore, it is unlikely that any significant results will be found, potentially being a waste of time. Similarly, a report was written by the International Journal of Dermatology to show the effects of myconazole nitrate on dandruff on the scalp region. Now, dandruff is an indirect cause of hair loss. This is actually because the itchiness it creates can lead to the scratching of the scalp. This can then injure your hair follicles, leading to some pattern hair loss. The report shows that myconazole nitrate, which, as mentioned, is an antifungal drug, possessed anti-dandruff characteristics. Now, this could reduce hair loss as a decrease in dandruff will reduce the amount of scratching, which could actually cause injury of your hair follicles in the process. So how exactly can you use Monistat on your hair? Well, before applying the cream to your hair, add a little amount of Monistat to a small bowl and mix in four tablespoons of water. Part your hair down the center and then begin applying and massaging the solution into your scalp, slowly working your way down to the top of the neck area. Repeat the application process until all of your scalp is treated, remembering to section hair off as you go along. Leave the solution on overnight and wash it using lukewarm water and DHT blocking shampoo. Now, let's have a look at the positives of this treatment. Well, Monistat's active ingredient, myconazole nitrate, is a very potent antifungal agent. This will remove any impurities from your hair, therefore allowing the hair to grow without obstructions. Additionally, Monistat is quite cheap and easy to procure, with a tube of the cream costing around $10 on Amazon. Furthermore, myconazole nitrate has been proven to reduce the amount of dandruff on the scalp, thereby improving scalp health, providing hair with a better environment to grow in. What about the negatives of using a Monistat? Well, the anti-dihydrotestosterone attributes of ketoconazole have been clinically proven, but Monistat doesn't contain this chemical. Rather, it contains myconazole nitrate, for which no anti-dihydrotestosterone properties have been discovered. This means that it is actually unknown if Monistat mirrors the properties of ketoconazole. Since the use of Monistat on the scalp hasn't been clinically tested, it is unclear what the side effects of using it on your scalp will be. But the side effects of traditional use of Monistat can include things like rashes, itching, irritation, burning, and even headaches. Now, Monistat could potentially be a positive inclusion in your hair care routine. Myconazole nitrate shows some positive qualities, such as its antifungal and anti-dandruff qualities. On the other hand, Monistat has various side effects, 
some such as rashes and irritation that could be very detrimental towards your scalp health. Getting your healthy hair back is always going to take a multi-pronged approach where you do things like make changes to your diet, regular derma rolling, using DHT blocking shampoo, using a good quality scalp elixir, using regular scalp massage, all the things that we talk about on this channel, that's what it's gonna take you to regrow healthy hair. Now, if you're new to the channel, do make sure to hit subscribe. If you have any questions about Monistat, let us know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.